Hello guys, today we're going to learn, uh, we're going to start chapter 12 with the lesson 10, uh, 12.1 certificates of deposit or we call them, you know, CDs. It is the objective for this lesson is the student will be able to use tables or a formula to compute interest on certificate of deposit using, you know, only two formulas. We're not going to, um, we're going to use two formulas and we're going to use the table as well. It's the easy, easy way to do the math part. Okay, what is the certificate of deposit? Okay, one way to invest, you know, my money or our money is to purchase a certificate of deposit. We call it, you know, CD. With earned interest at higher rate than a regular savings account. So you buy CDs for a specified amounts like 500, 1,000, and you must leave the money on deposit for a specified, you know, time. It could be three months until, you know, 30 years. It just depends on you. But it is very important that you are penalized for early withdrawal. If you put, you know, you buy a, a certificate of deposit and for uh, six months, and you wanted to take the money before those six months, they're going to penalize you. What that means, if you put, you know, $500 for six months and you take it um, before those six months, they're gonna take, you know, some of those $500, you know, away because you didn't finish the contract. Okay, make sense? I hope it does. Okay, most CDs earn interest compounded daily, monthly, or quarterly. Okay, this is very, very important. If you have the money, you know, to invest, you know, even $500, you can invest, put the money on, you know, for 30 years, and at the end of 30 years, or you can put the money right now, and, you know, by the time that you uh, wanted to buy a house, you will have money, to make the down payment. Or more, you know, grandparents like me, woohoo! Uh, I bought a, a certificate of deposit when my grandson was born and I gave it to my son. So I put it until, you know, he was 18. So if he wants to go to college, he will have money to go to college. Okay, so and guess what? I have to do it again because grandson number two, it's coming really, really soon. Okay, so the, um, the math of this, it is really easy. The thing is, again, I didn't give you the, um, the numbers from the table, which I'm going to give it to you right now. So in order for you to answer this homework is that you have to watch my video. Oh, and I put it always at the end so you guys can watch the whole enchilada with me, okay? So, the example says over here, Morgan Le Fay invested $10,000 into a four-year certificate of deposit that earns an interest rate of 5.75% compounded quarterly, okay? How much interest, is, interest will she learn, earn at the end of the four years? Okay, so she put money in the bank on certificate of deposit for four years. So what is the first thing that I have to do? I need to find the amount, the money that she's earning, okay? So it is my original price or my original principal. times whatever it tells me on the table. So what was the original? It was $10,000. And this table, the banks have those tables and they're going to tell you, okay? So one point because it was the, on the table, it was, uh, you have to do like uh, the 5.75% and it's uh, quarterly for four years. 
you go there and um, you find this number one point where are we okay two five six five forty one so once you uh, multiply with those two so you're gonna get twelve thousand five hundred and sixty five point forty one so this is the amount that you are going to have or she is going to have at the end of you know uh, the quarter at the end of the quarter so what is um, the amount this is the number this is number one this is number two this is the interest learn interest earn okay so and what is it it is the amount that she got minus the original okay she got 12,565 minus the 10,000 that she uh, invested. So now the interest that she earned, it was 2,565, okay? Point 0.41. So point 0.41 is right here. Okay, no bad, huh? Just it because one of the reasons that a lot of people uh, invest in some CDs, it is because earns more interest than the regular savings account, okay? So, and it earn interest, you know, when you, I'm not going to confuse you, but this interest is money that the bank is giving it to you because you invested that money, you know, in the bank on, um, on CDs, okay? So what am I going to do next? I'm going to give you the numbers that you guys are going to use for uh, the homework. Okay? So number one. Number one, it is 1.246056. Number two, 1.184949. For problem number three, you're going to use 1.038031. Number four, 1.051162. Number five, 1.051267. Number six, 1.268986. And for number seven, they give you three scenarios, okay? So I'm going to use scenario A. It's going to be 1.221386. Scenario B, 1.233113. And scenario D, C, sorry, 1.244211. And you're going to tell me uh, which one of these numbers on the investment it makes you know more um, the interest earn okay so that's all there's the information that you need from the table so I hope you know this one was easy so for you to understand if you have any questions please let me know on my phone you can text me or uh, you can call me okay bye guys